the woman you married, she had to be some spectacular woman who really gets you. I met her many years earlier. I was uh, in Israel at um, for the uh, Inglorious Bastards uh, premiere uh, in uh, in Tel Aviv, and so I I met her. I met her in a club. Frankly, mm. we danced all night long. We danced for three hours. I mean, I had to throw my shirt away, all right, when it was over, because it was just so stained, it, right. like a horse dying, all right, you know, uh, I had to throw it away. <laughs> Did you know she was the one that night? Did you well, think to yourself, well, I, this I, might I, be it? I had never had that kind of evening before. I had had really good evenings, but never right. that evening. And she's just, she's a fucking knockout. I mean, just, right. she's a beauty. And um, and then, yeah, and, and also her her father is like the most famous pop singer in Israel, Savika Pick. And oh, so wow. everybody knows who she is. She grew up in the spotlight, so she's like a princess. Wow. But we just let it drift away, and then she went on and lived her life, and I went on and lived mine. And then... Um, How do you do that, Quentin? When you meet someone that great, mm -hmm. doesn't it drive you crazy that she might meet someone else and that, that, that you'll lose her forever? Look, I might have been a... Scared little chicken shit. All right. <laughs> right. So then I, I end up going on, I get invited on this cruise. And so I go on this cruise. This is like six years later. I go on this cruise and then I uh, uh, meet a woman who's on the cruise who's a family friend of uh, the Picks, which is her name. And uh, she goes, oh, hey, I'm a, uh, uh, I'm a good friend of uh, Daniela. And I go, oh, Daniela, she was so great. <laughs> She was so great, as if she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> so I just say a bunch of nice things, figuring, okay, I'll say a bunch of nice, oh, Daniela is so wonderful, she was so great. I figure I'll just say a bunch of nice things. This friend will go back home to Tel Aviv, will we'll eventually bump into Daniela and say, hey, I bumped into Quentin and he said a bunch of nice things about you. That, that was the plan. Right. That was the plan. Well, she went up into her stateroom and called Daniela. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, so I just got through talking to Daniela and it turns out she just broke up with her boyfriend. Mm. So when you're through with your cruise and you get back home, give Daniela a call. Wow. And, and uh, I called her. We had a really nice conversation. She was happy to hear from me. And uh, then all of a sudden, next thing I know, we, we talked about three different times, you know, uh, uh, fairly shortly in a row, which is unusual for me. And, and we decided, well, okay, well, let's get together. Let's get there. And no promises. We don't know what's going to happen, but right. I'm intrigued enough and I would love to see you. Uh, uh, let's do it. And so we decided, okay, look, you shouldn't have to come to America and I shouldn't have to come to uh, uh, Tel Aviv. So let's, uh, let's meet in Paris. Okay, wow. That's kind of gearing it to work out, all right? Uh, meeting right, in the yeah, city of I love. like how you're thinking, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but we kind of wanted it to work out. And uh, so uh, we both went to, uh, we both went to uh, Paris, and we've been together ever since.